Welcome to Eye on the Tigers News. I'm Jacob Fraser, And I'm Shannon Corey. Thanks for being with us. Here's the news we've been following for you. Testimony continued yesterday and today in an Oswego County courtroom. Gary Thibodeau's defense attorney finished questioning Roger Breckenridge and then began questioning Michael Borrow. Both men, along with James Steen, are being accused by the defense of kidnapping Heidi Allen in 1994. Borrow was expected to continue his testimony this morning but was a no-show when the court opened. He took the stand before noontime. The defense is also expected to question other key witnesses today and has subpoenaed Oswego County Sheriff Rule Todd. One key witness expected to be questioned today and tomorrow is Jennifer Westcott, who was secretly recorded on the phone saying that Allen's body was taken to her house by the three men. The testimony is part of a hearing to decide whether or not Gary Thibodeau will receive another trial. He was convicted for the kidnapping of Allen and has been in prison for more than 20 years. Allen was a student at Mexico in the late 80s and early 90s. A man who plotted to attack the U.S. Capitol and kill government officials inside it and spoke of his desire to support the Islamic State militant group was arrested on Wednesday, the FBI said. A criminal complaint filed in U.S. District Court in Ohio charges Christopher Lee Cornell with attempting to kill officers and employees of the United States. Just a day earlier, authorities revealed another Ohio man had been charged with threatening to kill House Speaker John Boehner. Authorities are saying the plan was to be executed next week. An 87-year-old upstate New York man died after his pickup truck collided Wednesday with a trooper's patrol vehicle on a Hudson Valley Road, police said. Trooper David Welsh was driving a marked state police sport utility vehicle around 9.15 a.m. on Route 23 in the town of Catskill, 30 miles south of Albany. A pickup driven by Lewis Becker of Freehold entered Route 23 from a from a side road and collided with the SUV, police said. Becker was taken to Columbia Memorial Hospital in Hudson, where he was pronounced dead. A passenger in the pickup was treated at the same hospital for injuries that aren't life-threatening. An Alabama middle school principal wants to stockpile cans of corn and peas in classrooms for students to hurl at possible intruders as a last resort defense. In a letter Friday, the middle school principal, Priscilla Holly, asked parents to have each student bring in an eight-ounce canned item. Quote, we realize at first this may seem odd. However, it is a practice that would catch an intruder off guard, end quote. She wrote in the letter published by TV station WHNT in Huntsville. Quote, the canned food item could stun the intruder or even knock him out until the police arrive, end quote, she told reporters. <coughs> Mexico High School was full of energy and spirit this morning as each of the school's four grade levels displayed their hall decoration work. The hall decoration contest is part of the school's spirit week, sponsored by Student Council. The week will culminate with a pep rally on Friday afternoon at 1. You can watch the pep rally live or archived on our Ustream channel. Go to the district's website and click on the event listed and follow the link. Wow! It's been cold this week, but we're hearing there may be some relief. With the weather, here's Abby Garrett. The frigid air continues to overspread our area. Today was the third morning in a row where temperatures were below zero. There is some relief coming today with highs in the mid-20s under partially sunny skies. Friday will feature some sunshine and temps again in the mid-20s before another cold front approaches and brings the chance of some snow. The weekend looks quiet but cold on Saturday before cloudy skies and warmer air comes in on Sunday. It's Monday where the weather gets a little more dicey as another weather system comes in, bringing snow later Monday into Tuesday. The Bills introduced their new head coach yesterday. With the news and sports, here's Sarah. The Buffalo Bills introduced their new head coach, Rex Ryan, yesterday, and almost immediately the boisterous coach injected some energy into an organization that has failed to reach the playoffs in almost two decades. 
Okay, I know it's been you know 15 years since the uh, the Bills made the playoffs. Well, get ready, man. We're going. We are going. And you know the guarantee. You know, hey, am I going to guarantee a Super Bowl and all that? I, I, I tell you what, I will do. I will guarantee the pursuit of it. There is no question about that. Other teams filled their coaching vacancies. The Raiders hired Jack Del Rio, while the Jets hired Todd Bowles. Of course, this weekend, the NFL will crown conference champions when the Patriots hope host an upstart Colts team and the defending Super Bowl champs, Seattle Seahawks, will look to stop Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Winners will meet on February 1st in the Super Bowl. Congratulations go out to Mexico Junior Noah Galuzzo. The diver set a pool record in Liverpool on Tuesday. Galuzzo has already recorded scores good enough to qualify for the state meet in February. Mexico's wrestling beat up on Homer last night to remain undefeated in league play. Their stiffest test comes tonight when they travel to Phoenix in a match originally scheduled three weeks ago. Both teams are undefeated in league matches. With a peek of what's on the calendar, let's bring in Emma. As mentioned earlier, Students Council's pep rally will take place Friday afternoon, beginning around 1. Again, you can catch the rally on our Ustream channel. Go to the district's website to find the link. County High School Band will be performing at the Mexico Middle School on Friday and Saturday. The boys' basketball team heads to Fowler on Friday, looking to end the three-game losing streak, while the girls look to get back on track against Fowler at home. And of course, school, school will resume next Tuesday, as we celebrate Martin Luther King Day on Monday. And finally today, here's Patrick. <laughs> On this day in history, in 1844, the University of Notre Dame received its charter from the state of Indiana. In 1929, civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. was born in Atlanta. In 1967, the Green Bay Packers of the National Football League defeated the Kansas City Chiefs of the American Football League 35 to 10 in the first Super Bowl. In 1973, President Richard Nixon announced the suspension of all U.S. offensive action in North Vietnam, citing progress in peace negotiations. In 2001, Wikipedia, a web-based encyclopedia, made its debut. And in 2009, U.S. Airways Captain Chelsea Sonnenberger guided a jetliner disabled by a bird strike just after takeoff from New York's LaGuardia Airport to a safe landing in the Hudson River. All 155 people aboard survived. That's all for us today, but we're back again tomorrow. For the staff of Eye on the Tigers News, I'm Jacob Frazier. And I'm Shannon Corey. Have a great day.